So in our previous videos, we have seen how we can create your virtual machines while using different interfaces. Now here we are going to see how we can resize these virtual machines. As we know, the virtual machines which we have created, that was of A0 size, right? Now what if, if I want to increase the size of my virtual machine from A0 to A1? Or what if, if I want to extend my storage space of my A0? So here we are going to see how we are going to resize our virtual machines and manage them. So for that, let's move to our portal. So we are into our portal now and if you remember into our previous video we have created this virtual machine which is containing the different scenario and different summary we can see over here where it is a computer name is VM3, operating system is Windows and the size of your virtual machine is A0. Now if I want to change the size of your virtual machine for example I want to upgrade this virtual machine or I want to reduce this particular size of the virtual machine that we are going to see here uh, into our portal first of all. So into our portal you have a size option. Now here you can see you are using your HDD uh, that is a disk type and if I want to upgrade it to you know uh, other particular virtual machine size like for example I want to upgrade it to your D2 V2 set standard select this and you can see here directly it will resize your virtual machine VM3 to size standard D2 V2 let's check here and once it is done you will be able to check your uh, size of your virtual machine has been changed to D2 V2 and you can see it is starting and you can see the size has been changed you know this is the way how we can change the virtual machine size using your portal now what if we were going to change the virtual machine size by using your CMD? Let us have a look on it. Or either you can do it from here or you can use it your um, cloud shell. Okay, so in spite of using our cloud shell, I'll be using my CMD itself. As in practical environment, you'll be using your own CMD. Okay, so very first what you need to do is um, I'm going to list out my VM size options here so I'll give the command azvm list hyphen vm hyphen resize hyphen options hyph space double hyphen resource group space rg3 double hyphen name vm3 double hyphen output I want the output into table format so you can see here it is providing you the complete sizes which are available right so we are getting all the sizes here I want to change my uh, size of a virtual machine to basic a1 let us see how we are going to do that so for that I'm just going to clear out my screen I've selected which the um, size I require here so I'm going to change it to the size that is basic A1 so for that I'll be using AZ VM resize hyphen hyphen resource hyphen group and I'm going to define the group name as RG3 double hyphen name VM3 and hyphen hyphen I'm going to size this to basic a1 hit enter okay so this is the mistake we did now you can see here it will be changing your size of your virtual machine from standard a0 or sorry you we have created it as standard d2 v2 to basic a1 it's running now I'll just refresh it out once it is done we will be able to see the changes as automatically reflecting to your portal here and you can see that it has changed to basic a1 now right so it will complete the all the particular process here and once it is done you will be able to, you know, use the complete basic A1 size of your virtual machine here. 
so it is getting started so during your um, you know you are changing the size of your virtual machine it delocate and then it generally you know start your system or some multiple times it will restart your system so once it is started it is running this particular prompt will come to an end and you will be able to use your basic a1 size of your virtual machine so you can find here um, it has shown you the complete status that is means it is created now and this machine is started and ready to use same way if I want to change the status using the PowerShell we can also do it I will start with my PowerShell ISC run it as administrator go for yes and we'll wait it is getting started okay so I'll just move into the virtual machine itself so that again we can compare the status of it so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to set some variable over here like well, I'll collect the information of my system so very first uh, I'm going to set the name of my machine if you require or directly you can assign that uh, so what I'm going to do I'm going to set a variable of VM and I want to fetch out the information about your VM RM virtual machine uh, which cut into your resource group name RG3 and the name of the virtual machine is VM3 so it will get the information about uh, this so just check what the information it has collected you can see this is RG3 virtual machine created with the name virtual machine 3 and this is the hardware profile we have and we are going to change the hardware profile of this particular virtual machine so how I'm going to change it is like I'll get the information and I'm going to change the hardware profile of this particular machine and I'm going to change the hardware profile and I'm going to change the VM size of this hardware so I'm going to change my VM size so uh, if I want to define directly the VM size I require I can like I want to change it to basic A0 I can or you can define your VM size prior so uh, I'm just going to define the VM size here as um, variable so I require is basic a0 and hit enter now I'm going to do the same command vm dot hardware profile dot vm size equals to your vm size which we have defined okay hit enter now I'm going to update the same so for updating it I'll define update as your RM VM and the VM which we have created that is a VM we are going to define here uh, not the VM name but uh, the VM which we have collected the information that we need to define and then we will define the resource group name and the resource group name is RG3 hit enter now it will update the information of your um, you know VM hardware profile into your VM size uh, that we have fetched into your VM so everything will change and into portal let us see the difference uh, it is changed to basic A0 and it is getting started so during you uh, are changing your size of your virtual machine it gets restarted so once it is started you will be able to connect this virtual machine so let us wait for it so if I want to connect it directly I can connect it using your RDP so you can see it is connecting via 3389 so it is saying you it is not enabled yet so once it is up once it is running you will be able to connect the same so it is the same process either you can connect directly by your portal or by your PowerShell or CLI from wherever you require so this is how generally we can change the size of your virtual machine by using your PowerShell. So we have completed, uh, you know, in our previous video that how we can change the size of your virtual machine using our portal PowerShell as well as CLI. So into next video, I'm coming up with how to understand the status of your virtual machine and how many status generally we have.